Hello, miners, and welcome to Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. In this roguelike auto shooter, we're exploring the universe of Deep Rock Galactic from a whole new perspective. Yeah, yeah, rock and stone. Unlike the original game, this spin off is a solo experience. But at its core, it's still a game about mining minerals and blasting bugs. In each run of Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, you're sent down on a mission to eliminate the mighty Glyphid Dreadnought, taking you through five levels of alien caves filled with valuable minerals and endless hordes of enemies. The four dwarf classes from Deep Rock Galactic are making their return as playable characters. And this time, each one has three subclasses, which explore different aspects of the character. The Scout focuses on mobility, agility and scoring critical damage. He's light on his feet and better able to dodge enemy attacks than any other class. His trusty M1000 rifle makes short work of high-value targets, while weapons like the Voltaic Stun Sweeper or the new Bug Taser offer plenty of choices for an electrical build. The Engineer is the master of high-tech automated violence. Fast-firing sentry guns, flamethrower turrets and shredder drones do the dirty work for you. If that's not enough, you've got plenty of explosive and plasma weaponry to finish the job. Pick the right overclocks and you can even make your turrets go mobile. The gunner brings the heavy weapons and can start with the highest health. Weaponry like the Thunderhead Heavy Autocannon, Let's Storm Minigun and Hurricane Rocket System give you overwhelming firepower and more capability to direct your shots where they're needed most. The driller goes through stone like butter and packs an arsenal of elemental weapons. His powerful drill gauntlets let him mine minerals and dig through terrain faster than anyone else. And his arsenal of incendiary, corrosive and cryo weaponry give him unparalleled potential for dishing out elemental damage. Every single weapon can be upgraded with three powerful overclocks at once. This can dramatically change the weapon's behavior and give you a tremendous advantage in combat. During each mission, you'll need to gain experience by gathering minerals, killing bugs, and completing objectives, so you can upgrade your arsenal to the max. On your way to the Dreadnought, you will fight your way through three different biomes, Crystalline Caverns, Magma Core, and Hollow Bow. Each of these environments come with their own distinctive hazards. In order to survive, you'll have to master each biome's unique landscape. So sharpen your pickaxe, check your equipment, and load up. The mines of Huxies await you, and so do a billion angry alien bugs. This is Mission Control, signing off. Rock and Stone.